Good works is flavor. Oh, yes. good works has a smell. Mm. You are a kind person. You are a good person. Mm. You carry a different kind of flavor. Even when mm. people say they don't like you, they won't say that for too long. Yes. Mm. It's true. Mm. Yes, ma'am. These are jackpots. These are keys. Mm. Bitterness mm. will lead to poverty. Why? Because people mm. will have great business idea, but they can't come around you. Mm. Mm. Thank you, huh. night is my night. Thank you, baby. Mm. I'll never be bitter. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. It says flavor. Flavor. Listen to the, 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 the choice of the word. Flavor. Salt brings flavor. Mm -hmm. If you go down, would you see verse 16? Let's look at verse 16 and fly out of, I hope we can fly out. He say, let your light. He says it, okay, verse 14. He say, you are the light of the world. Remember, he's saying you're salt. Mm -hmm. And then he say, you're light. Mm -hmm. A city on a hill that cannot be hidden. He said, yeah. neither do men light a candle or light you that you light. Now that you've had this revelation, you're not going to go hit it. You're not going to mm -hmm. stop doing good works because somebody is not happy. You're not going mm -hmm. to stop doing good work because they are saying you're showing how you, you're the only Christian in this church. Why are you always giving mm -hmm. pastor gift? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Must you be the one buying mama gift? Mm -hmm. Some of us buy gift, mama don't wear. But when you buy yours, mm -hmm. mama wear it. You listen to that and you're mad. <laughs> send the gifts. Send them. Send the gifts. Send them. <laughs> and gifts, it says you put it on. You show it off. Hey. Not because you... It's there now. It's not your own Bible. It says, candle and put it under a basket. It says, uh-uh. No. But you do what? You light it. And give, and it gives light to all, to all, to all mm. who are mm. in the house. Mm. And it's okay for me to give somebody something in this family and they go to creative corner and say, look what mama did. It's okay. Mm. Wow. Showing of the goodness. It's in the house, in the house. Mm. So you remember mm. when we were talking about the Pharisees, they stand at the corners, mm. not in the house. Not in the house. Let your light so shine before men Amen. that they may Amen. see your good works. Amen. Works, yes, yes, yes. Because not once, not twice. You keep doing mm -hmm. until you exit. Amen. Isn't it amazing it's that the rewards lifestyle. you have in heaven will be according oh. to the works that you did? Oh, yes. Mm. It's a glorify mm. your father yes, who is in heaven. Oh, Jesus. Uh -oh. Did, I, did I give it to him? How is he being glorified? Hey. Because as you progress, he's happy. I will tell you, yes. Andrew, the best mm. thing you can do for your father is for you to go forward in life. Yeah. Hey. Hallelujah. I tell you the truth. Hey. So what Jesse said, when you dream small, you heard God. I'm like, what? Oh. You see, when your dreams are too small, you're making daddy not to be happy. I say, yeah. yeah. Can you say it? Papa Jesse has something. He knows how to put me on fire. Like, seriously. I went mm. to one conference and all I brought home was don't sponsor poverty. Hey! Mm. My children used to say, Mommy, don't buy from Dollar Tree. I say, ah, leave me alone. Hmm. From there, before, <laughs> before I go to Dollar Tree, <laughs> you have to be here for something serious. Mm. <laughs> I love Dollar Tree. My children say, Mommy, no, we don't want Dollar Tree. No, we don't want woman. Now when we're going to Ross, they're like, yes, good, good. We're going to get things that we want. But it's a mindset because those things get bad fast too. And they are cheap. Mm -hmm. Cheap things don't mm -hmm. last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what are we it's saying? Don't stop good works. That's how you're exempted. Poverty yes. cannot see your break lives when you're born again and then mm -hmm. you do good works. Amen. Amen. Because good works don't take you to heaven. Good works will be rewarded. Get your ticket to heaven first. And then you mm. do good work. It's like yeah. you say, I want to eat popcorn in a movie theater and you don't want to buy a ticket. How are you going to get in? Mm. There's wow. no popcorn for you. <laughs> get your <laughs> ticket first. Yeah. Get your yeah. ticket. When you have your yeah. ticket to heaven, focus on your own work. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can we learn so we can go to something else? Somebody's really pulling. This is, this wasn't on the schedule. 
<laughs> Somebody told me it's just stuff. <laughs> if you listen to what daddy is amplifying, he's literally telling you, watch out. They will attack your good works, but don't listen to them. Mm. Oh, yes. Something yes, you might mommy. want to get in the way of good works, but don't listen. Yes, mommy. Mm. I was telling BBI students, I said, if all of you decide, say you've graduated before time, I will graduate all of you. I mean, if they say I'm tired, I was praying for them, but I warned them. I said, don't take the few days for granted because don't think you have only, because you only have one more month. They've been studying for what, eight months. I said, don't be weary now. I exhorted them at the end, but I told them, I said, let me tell you all the truth. If all of you decide to graduate at this level, it won't move me because I have invested my time. I will be very grateful because I know even, even those that come to be here for one week, they don't leave the same. Oh no, mm -hmm. I vowed mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. I vowed years ago. I said, Father, if I meet anybody, may their life never remain the same. One meeting, mm -hmm. you don't need to meet me twice. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I heard Apostle Joshua Selman say, I said, ah, this is correct, big brother. Mm -hmm. He said, he told the Lord, he said, if somebody will have to meet me twice, for them to be impacted, please may they never meet me. I say, correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. I tell you, correct. I told BB, I stood, I said, if you're doing stupidity and cheeky cheeky and do all the drama people do, you're wasting your time because you're in the wrong place. You'll be on your own. Because I mm -hmm. understand even the administrators, the amount of sacrifice they put into the school. No. We will not even cry. We will have a, a, a this meeting and thank the Lord for the school year and move on. Why did I tell them that? Because you don't, you're not responsible for people's response. I'm bringing it to tie this in. When you begin mm. to do good works, don't be, BBI, this year, BBI was supposed to be 11 students. But somehow, we ended up 10 students. At one point, one drop, the next drop, the next drop, the next drop. I think, how many drop? Four? Yes, should be four. Mm -hmm. Yes, mama. You, you think I had one night when I went and sleep and said, Daddy was good. For what? No. If you can have an opportunity like BBI, in my opinion, when I was growing, even now, if I find a place where I can study the word like that, discipline, structure, have homework, my dear, I will enroll. I tell you the truth, Alain. I don't care what they're teaching, as long as it's the Bible. I will. Yeah. You can listen to the word and live the same. Hey, are you kidding? What Bible are you talking about? Never. It asks the mm. administrators. They are hearing some things they didn't hear when they were in school. Miss mm. G was was the first batch. She's at because she's school school the, the real administrator as to administrative duties. She's been in school, graduated. She was there to help assist with the first batch. After she did, as, this is the third batch. I Means she's been in all the th three different years. Ask her. There are things she didn't hear in her batch. She didn't hear last year. She's hearing this year. Mm -hmm. what am i saying with this so you think i'm gonna one day sleep and have one sleepless night because one person left bbi are you kidding me for what i give my all mm. and i give it for the king i give mm. it because i was once at the place where i needed somebody to teach me and there was nobody that's mm. how baby I was birthed through me. Mm. Another thing I have vowed, I said I would teach, and anybody, there was somebody that attacked me. He said, The way I teach about marriage at Bill, it looks like I want women to divorce. I said, No. I scream all the time. I said, Divorce is not okay. But this one message I'm passing across, and I'll keep passing all my life. Woman, you don't have to be abused. You cannot enjoy marriage being abused. And why are women abused? Empty handedness. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. If, if, if you don't make a man your everything, I'm not talking about you don't have to. I've said it. If you don't have the money, ask your daddy. If this man was else your daddy, why didn't he born you? He should have given birth to you and married you. <laughs> If you could have done, you live your life without them for one month, three months, 10 years. Some of us married 18, 18 years old. Some people married at 30. Some people married at 40. If you can live your life 40 years without a human being, how dare you want to make them God? 
Somebody say error, 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 error. That's why your peace level is low. That's why your joy level is low because you've taken the responsibility of God and put it on a human being. Yes. Should a husband give money and take care of the wife a hundred million times? Yes. Yes. But I, I, if if I would train, I train my spiritual sons. Don't make yourself a, a, a collateral security for your wife. Don't make yourself mm-hmm. else your daddy to your wife. Know your responsibility. Don't die before your time and make your wife a widow because you are lying that you're God. You're not. And you empower your wife. I tell you, or I told you that the first time I ever put gas in my car, after driving almost three years. Driving my own car for three years, I don't know how to pump gas. Why? Because my car will be clean. Gas is in there. Is that, am I saying that's a bad thing? No, but I tell you the truth, not I'm on the other side. Sweetheart, know how to clean your own car. The vice chancellor mm. of, of BBI, <laughs> she lives with us. She doesn't wait for anybody to clean her car. My husband used to tell her, when you married, what will your husband do to you? You know there's a mentality that when women marry, their husband needs to do this and do that. She said, no, my husband will enjoy the fact that he married me. And that's the truth. My husband shouldn't marry you and carry load. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. We're still talking about saltiness. Are you tasty? Or you mm-hmm. need to be trampled on the feet? Everywhere you go, tasty. are you needy? Please, I beg for $5. I beg for $2. I beg for 3 mm-hmm. What's that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Piki, Piki, pop don't finish. Oh, give me twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow. laughs> let me let me say that in a way, Papa Scott can understand and Mama Scott, the JM family. At least Miss Peggy can hear that kind of pigeon. You're like, can I have two dollars to go get um, go get go get avocado in the store to make baby food? Kind of. I know. <laughs> Can I have five dollars to buy baby food? Five dollars. Believe God. You say, Mama, mm. nobody has ever given to me. That's why you want to start believing God. Yes, mm. Mama. Yeah. Maybe the first one where you will suffer. That's okay. It's true. Yes. Don't be content. Believe that the same God that put the baby in your belly mm-hmm. can provide for the baby. Amen. Yes. Amen. Don't, Amen. Don't, stress, don't stress the man until he dies and you become a widow and suffer even times too. <laughs> at least have him there that he can look at you once and say, Let me buy food. Somebody accused me. He said, I say, Me, what I have suffered because I was empty handedness, I can never yes. encourage a woman to be empty handed. For we? Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. And l- let me. <laughs> Let me tell you the bad part. Your in-laws are abusing you for eating all the money. <laughs> <laughs> Your in-laws are having family meeting and say, hmm, since our brother married, eh? hmm. my dear, your father don't have a spoke. Or maybe your father mistakenly bought a car while you were married. They think you are the one. Hmm. Since they married that woman, maybe their brother was not even sending them Kobo. But just because you're married in that family, you know what they will do? They're having family meeting. I'm calling your name for eating five hundred thousand dollars when you don't even they, they haven't they have never <laughs> given you fifty personally. What's the need of that persecution? What's the need? Walk your own. Somebody say why? Well, um, you, you all don't have how much persecution we get doing what we do. <laughs> Eating is candy, but it's candy. Persecution is candy. But I mean, like people think it's just easy. I remember one of you told me once, I like your job. I said, you do. <laughs> I said, okay. That's fine. <laughs> Lately, I'll ask, I'll ask the person. I said, do you still like my job? I said, no, mama. <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I one time I told her, you'll be my sexual. They said, hey, you're what? So that those calls, they would just be sending to them. The texts that come to my phone, they would just be sending to them. <laughs> what, what, what would they say? I cannot. It's not, I don't think it's human. I don't think it's okay for you to fall in a hole. Like if I catch a young girl that knows Jesus, hey, I want to marry an unbeliever. Hey. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. I mean, it, it's suicide mission. If you don't mm. believe me, take it from me. Mm. Mm. Oh, you better go oh. to heaven or oh, marry it. Mm. That to know it. A man that he doesn't want to hear anything about fasting. He, nothing, Jesus. You're praying at hey, Maria. Oh, holy <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the time you begin to grow spiritually, that's the time he's very angry at home. Yes. Mm. The only time there's peace at home is when you're going down spiritually. Ah. Mm. And you say you're married, eh? Okay. Enjoy the marriage. Lord help us. No, it's not. This is the help right here. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the help right here. I don't care if you saw the man, even if 10 spiritual prophets saw the man. If you know and you know and you know that that man's not born again, don't date. Mm -hmm. Or you wait until the man is born again. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. some, some, can, some can tell you, ah, yeah, I'm born again now. Some can even follow you to church. Wait after the wedding. <laughs> you will know the real color. Because if they are not born again, they are not born again. They are not. If they are not, they can't fake it. Ah, I've seen this thing. They can't. One of my spiritual daughters, we fell apart because I taught her these things. Pray for her, release her, and left the U.S. I left Cameroon, came to the U.S. And hello. An unbeliever came because the, the unbeliever was in the U.S. and she's in Cameroon. She agreed. Told the, told the man to come see me. He said, my mother is in Maryland. There's one part of America called Maryland. Go see her. And the man came. And I told my daughter up front, I said, this man is not born again. I, you know I won't sugarcoat for where? Even if I don't tell you, I know. I know those who are suffering and they can pretend that they are married. It's not, it's not worth it. It's mm. not worth it. If you're already there, stay there. But make sure you help another sister not to make your own mistakes. That's where my problem mm -hmm. is. Eh. Me, I got married before I got born again. No. But there are times when the paper I went through, <laughs> and I even asked myself, my husband is so quiet. He doesn't even get into people's business. How about the husbands that talk and abuse you and even abuse your body parts? Mm -hmm. Is that worth it? Is that married for real? When you can have a man that look at you and say, you're the best thing that happened to me. What, what's the point? Somebody that I don't care. I just want babies. <laughs> Let me hey. tell you. I'll tell you a testimony. You might not even believe it. Yeah. I had one very close person to me. And I'm careful because some of you know the person. I don't want to say any information that might, might tell you who the person is. They have waited. They have waited. They, they finally got into this marriage relationship at 31. They had the money. I almost said something that would have said, tell who the person is. Mm -hmm. They had all the titles you might want to have. They do. They have it. They have car. If they wanted a house, they would have had it. Now, they met this very handsome person. Did the person want to marry them? Yes. Yeah. They told the person, you're not born again. You have to be born again. The person said, I will. For you, I will. The person hang around them for one year. They don't meet in the night. They don't touch. They don't do any of those things that you, you think that he's trying to rush. She did all the tests she could do. She, she finally mm. called. The man started following her to church. They went to her pastor. The pastor said, well, this man is so calm. This man is so nice. But I'm not sure if he's truly born again. She, she came to me. She said, huh, Mama, you have to check this man out. I told her up front. I said, this man is a fine guy. Okay? If you're going for looks, eh? Catch it now, now, now. I said, but if you're going for peace, stable home. I said, this one. No, Jesus. He can leave you anytime. She thought Ooh. I was going. She said, well, you're here now. I'm here. If 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 he ever leaves, me and you will take care of the children that we will have. I said, no, hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> she told me, you. It's, it's somebody that we talk. He told me, he said, uh, if that's what happened, because because at that point she wasn't sure. I said, me, I'm sure that this person is not born again. He's not. 
I said, but if you're going for these looks, and he's rich, I said, you're going for this look, and the rich is here. Yeah. He said, my God, this is the only man that's trying to even take care of my mother. He he has this, mm -hmm. he thinks about my mother, mm -hmm. and all of those emotional things that, mm -hmm. no, if you're, if you're not your married, shut up your mouth, because yeah. you're, all of this, <laughs> by the time they are there, all the charisma is in your eye. I tell you, that man smells good. Ish, God. That girl did her best though. to hang around him for one year. She did her best. She wasn't moved. She really, really, really wanted the man to be born again. The man did all the drama. They got married. First year in marriage, there was no baby. Second year, there was no baby. Third year, the man said, I don't even need a baby. She started wondering. He said, huh? You don't need a baby. Something is wrong. That's when we started discovering some things which are not necessary to talk about now. But this is where I was going with this point. I chose that guy. The man said, when it comes to raising his children, the wife does not have the responsibility to decide to take mm. her children to church. He makes the decision if his children are going to be raised as Christians or mm -hmm. as... Um, Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they call it? Enlighten something, something, something. Or the woman neutral. Yeah, no, it's neutral. That's why he's meaning. No, not yes. just neutral. Is there any neutral? There's no neutral. He simply There's just. None. How do they call it? May I call them confused? There's a name for them. <laughs> These people that. There's a word for them. And nobody knows. People that they, they, they believe everything, they don't take a side. Oh. If you tell them Satan is good, they'll say, okay, what is the good part of Satan? You tell them, say, okay, that's good. Um, you, you, in, 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 in counseling language, we call it eclect, eclectic. You pick good things from here and here and here. If you tell them Buddha, Buddha is a very good God, and this, that's what they'll pick. Hey, the woman said, don't die. Now she called. She said, you need to hear what you, she called her husband, my brother. So you need to hear what your brother said. I said, what did he say? He said, hey, these children will not go to church. I said, yeah, but that's why maybe God is delaying. <laughs> she said, delay? I said, yeah, so. I said, you want children to come and suffer the suffer you have suffered? Mm -hmm. He said, no. I said, no, so you can't do that. She suffered. Hey, she suffered. Me and her, we know. Some people think if you have money, you have everything. It's not true. No. no. Mm -hmm. She suffered. Her father rejected her when she was born. She mm. tr struggled with rejection until she became a therapist and she saw the difficulties and the effect on her own body. She said, mm -mm, mm. I have to let this thing go. Try to connect with her father. Her father said, I never wanted you and I still don't want you. Oh my yeah. God. That's talking to a 20 something plus year girl. At this time, she, she already has everything she needed. So she wasn't contacting her father to pay her school fees. No. So I didn't want you. Mm. I still don't want you. And I will never mm. want you. Mm. It was worse than she did. Mm. So it got to a point where when she got pregnant with the first child, the husband said, I told you that I don't want babies. This baby, you're, you're pregnant. You have to go do an abortion because if you have that baby, you're all by yourself. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Is it not the sweet guy? Mm. What happened? <laughs> Isn't that oh, a guy that follow her to church for many church program crusades? Oh, yes. mm. Yeah, one serious year. Yeah. One year. Mm. That's some seriousness. Serious pretend. Mm. Wickedness. Wickedness. <laughs> That's why I tell sister, don't rush this thing. You can enjoy it or you can enjoy it. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. Ask Amy. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have question in me. And I've told her, I'll say it publicly, it's on record today. I told Amy, I said, this is your husband. If he's not born again, you will, pepe, you will call me 12 minutes. I will pick the phone. I will say, my baby, don't cry. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> but then, <laughs> you'll be the only one. Oh. <laughs> 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 I've already done my own casting. I've done everything a mother can do. And I'm doing the same with Colette. I always tell them. I tell Colette all the time. I say, Colette, you can't wait like this. I'm married to something new. No way. doesn't matter if he, even if we see him in telegram and telescope if he's not born again it's no mm -hmm. it's no 
angels of darkness can disguise as angels of light. Mm -hmm. yes. We, we yes. can't mortgage our future. Mm -hmm. No, this is the ones I have trained. So I can talk like that about them in the public. You know, <laughs> my children, my, I was teaching my children and they asked me a question. They said, mom, who qualifies to correct? I said, the teacher. They said, what do you mean by that? I said, if you haven't taught <laughs> <laughs> the children, they can ask you questions. I say, if you haven't taught anybody, you cannot correct them. He said, what do you mean by the teaching? It means you tell them something once and they correct them. I said, no, teaching means you've said it more than three times. You've waited for them to do it. They did it wrong. You teach them again. You wait for them to do it. Or you pray for them. And you're expecting them to learn. Then I gave them an example. They say, ah, okay, 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 okay. Don't say it again. Don't say it again. Because they got it. You use the example that they know. So what am I saying? I'm calling these names because they've been trained. It's mm. too painful yeah. to want to get up and pray and somebody's telling you don't pray. Mm -hmm. It's too painful mm -hmm. when you have that check in your hand. You've been writing your own tithe for years. Now why mm. you mommy say no more tithe because we need to be mm. a house. Be a house. Mm. This same house that will burn in the next world to come, even before the next world to come, the thing will demolish. Mm -hmm. You're you going to invest. It, don't get, all of you know that I'm believing for a house. So a house is not a problem. We're talking about priorities. Priorities. Whoever has done this to us, we forgive you. Look at the time. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. I know it was for somebody. I know it was for some people. I know you're not living the same, but listen. Amen. Be salt. Your family is watching. Imagine all you're waiting. And now your family see you come one day with one John in the foot. <laughs> Angels are watching. They are protecting you. One day you say, Father God, thank you for Solomon. And they look at Solomon. They see this Solomon. <laughs> it's Colesi. Colesi, how many demons are behind this boy? God punish the devil. <laughs> <laughs> angels are crying and weeping it's a color you know how much we have guarded you color you know how many crazy people wanted to come color now you go pick solomon all by yourself hmm. they say no color i can't do that what am i saying good works is our dna um yeah. the man of god said there's just no it's not possible to seek Christian or kingdom citizen without good works. It's not. Our revelation showed us that good work is not only the things we give, the things we also refrain ourselves from getting into. Restrain. Mm -hmm. It's important. It's important. Rachel, all of you should be. You can't do that. No. Mm -hmm. Alicia, mm -mm, Nadia, all mm -hmm. of you. You can't. Miss Peggy, hey. You know, I won't even say anything. I will just fire the man. <laughs> Miss Peggy has heard my secret today. When Miss Peggy called me and said, Mama, um, I said, okay, let's talk. <laughs> she don't know this one. I'll tell her today in the public. And then when she dropped, I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, Miss Peggy, Kabwasha Tabalaya Sante. The worst one, if he calls the man's name, the man is already in trouble. If it's not the right one, Miss Peggy. So I'm the one that I've been sending all of them away so that the right one can go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you tell me somebody's liking him, I say, okay, we, we know what to do. We'll take him to headquarters. She can't, eh, she cannot know me and go through pain. That's not possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For what? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. stand at the door and say, um, I think you're too small, you're too fat, you have money, you don't have... Shut up. That already tells us you don't even know what marriage is about. Mm -hmm. The man comes into your life and the thing he's talking about are superficial things. Oh, I like you. You're fine. You don't find. Uh, there's a problem. First question, what are you called to do? You hope. know, okay. This one, we have hope. Mm. Means he's not planning to waste his life. He will not make me project because if he's asking mm. me what I'm called to do, means he already has something he's doing. Don't marry the man with that vision. Mm -hmm. He'll make you his project. Yes. You know what project yes. you'll be? You become his, his mother's house help. You become his baby machine. Mm. You become his sex machine. You become his money machine. You become everything. He's cook. Mm. Mm. He's cook. Yeah, what am I eating today? 
you almost like <laughs> eat the money you give <laughs> Because they don't, they won't give you anything. They will come and ask you for food. Zero. And they'll come and say, um, "What are we eating today?" So um, the last time I checked, I'm not your mother. <laughs> okay, you're not his mother. They will show you that your mother for that particular situation. What are we saying? I know we're taking it, we're stretching it, we're taking it to the extremes, we're taking some time. But what we are saying is that please, there is better. Don't settle for less. Some of you are listening to me. You already have boyfriends that are hanging around you. I don't care if you have seven children already. I don't care if you have 20. This message can be your turning point. You say enough is enough. I'm going to, I'm going to add value to my life. I'm going to add value to my children. I'm going to add value to my parents. I'm going to add value to my, my mother will be able to attend my wedding with a man that will respect me and respect my mother. Respect my family. Amen. Yeah. It doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter even, even if it's going to be your third marriage. You can say no to mediocrity. No to mm-hmm. doing things wrong. And it will turn around for you. And it will be less painful. You can enjoy a really good marriage. And why are we talking marriage now? Who is doing this to us? Well, mm-hmm. I keep trying to pull myself out of this, but the more we, we keep getting into it, we keep, I'm trying to rush out of it, but then we dive into it some more. Mama, can I say something, please? Hey, please. Yeah, but By I didn't way, want to say it on the recording. Coming. Oh, you want me to take it off? I'll take it off. I'll pause recording. Yes. Okay, I'll do that. One end to the next. Um, your life is... Papa, my father in the Lord was teaching this weekend. He said, the key to life is choice. My God, something has not hit me like that. Please do type it in. The key to life is choice. The decisions you make, they determine where you go, the direction you take. If somebody annoys you and you refuse to be angry, that's a choice and it will take you to peace view. But then, if they come and you're like, hey, you don't remember me? And then you get kind of Mm-hmm. I will remember you in jail. <laughs> but you do something you should not do. It's true. Got your peace. Take 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 steps that will get your peace. Somebody's like, I just want to go to heaven. Uh, I, I don't want to go to heaven until I'm married. I want somebody told me once, I want to enjoy the wedding on earth and the one in heaven. Oh. Okay. Oh. I wish you can enjoy for real. It's, there's no enjoyment in it. Without Jesus, forget. Forget. Lie all the lies you can. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Any questions? I sense there could be a question. If you don't want the question on the recording, I'll take it off too. Any hand up? Yes, Sister Alimatu. Yeah, Mama, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Keep the recording. I'll take it off. Pause. No, the recording can be on. I'm oh. asking. No. Okay. Um, I want to ask a question about um about the giving mm-hmm. that you um that if you want to um if you want to be rich. You have to give to rich people. What if you give to um, poor people, like people that don't um, don't have anything? If you give to them, will you be poor? Did you? Where did you get that question from? Is it teaching, right? Yeah, from the in teaching. That, in that same teaching, I explain why you should give to the rich if you want to be rich. Did you hear that part? Yes, yeah, that if you want why to be I... rich. That if you want to be rich, you give to rich people. And if you give to poor poor people, what will happen? <laughs> so the poor people are in here, the poor people. That's why I ask. Okay. Who can answer mm-hmm. that question? Please. Minister Ibai, put your hand up. That's your, your minister Ibai. So let the minister answer. 
Mais ça va. When you give to the rich, you become. If you give to the rich, you become rich. If you give to the poor, what will happen? She's muted. Okay, collect answer. Okay. Um, good evening, family. Good, good evening, evening, Sister Collins. Sister Collins. <laughs> Okay, I'll answer like this. You you become like what you look at. Your the people you associate with will determine what you will become. So if you gift the rich, you'll become like them. You'll be rich like them. Because you 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 are looking at them, so you'll become like them. And if you give to the poor, it means you're associating with poor people and you'll be like them. That's my understanding. Okay. That's a, good that's a good understanding, but that's not in that teaching. All of you are here. Yes, Miss Peggy, before we go to what is on that teaching, the answer is on that same teaching. That's why I asked her. Yes, Miss Peggy, go ahead before we hear somebody that knows the answer or the okay. answer that on this same teaching she's talking about. I know the teaching and I know when we did it. It's not up to, it's about the month or max. Miss mm -hmm. Peggy. Okay. I, I don't know if, I don't remember listening to that teaching, but I No, heard... you were not here that day. I remember okay. you were not. Mm -hmm. 